a very good morning to everyone today we are going to discuss doubts of the exercise 2b right so wherever you are having major doubts in this exercise that will discuss by today okay so i am checking your queries right and we'll discuss one by one in the class wherever you are having major doubt that question you can ask me in the class today right chaitanya i can't explain the complete exercise Question eleventh and fifteen is a common doubt. No worries, we'll discuss in the class today. Okay, thirteen also. Right. Love Dora, fine. We'll discuss that. Anshuman. Ashima, okay. Question fifteen. Ninth, okay. Okay, let me take doubts of these questions first of all. Okay, rest we'll discuss later on. Because these are word problem questions. Some questions are bit lengthy. So let's start with these question. If any one two queries are left, will be left. You can discuss after the class, right? Okay, so if you are having doubts in these questions, that you can see by today, that you uh, you have to uh, sit properly in the class, see wherever you are having doubts. Arush Pamar, adjust your camera quickly. Right. So the first question where you are having doubts. Okay, I am telling you question sixth also. Okay. Right. So let's start with the question. Question sixth. First of all, I'm going to discuss question six. In question six, they are saying that Varanya, fine. I have written some questions here, right? Let me take doubts of these questions first of all. Okay, if we'll complete this question on time, I'll I'll take your doubts after that, right? But if you're having these questions, if you're having common doubts in these questions, first of all, you will have to understand these questions, right? No worries. Whatever question will be left, I I'll take after the class. Right. So in question six, they are saying that the sum of three consecutive multiples of seven is seven seven seven. I told on that day. First of all, you have to answer me. What are consecutive numbers? What are consecutive numbers? Quickly, everyone has to answer. What are consecutive numbers? Chetanya right, Mishika right, Tishika no, Love Dora right. Avika, right? See, consecutive numbers are which are coming one after the other, immediately one after the other, right? Like one, two, three, four, all counting numbers are the consecutive numbers. They are coming one after the other, okay? But there is a formula. There is a formula how we can elaborate these consecutive numbers. How we can write these consecutive numbers? Okay, formula is x comma x plus one. X plus two, x plus three. This is a series. In this series, we used to write our consecutive numbers. Okay, if x will be one, it is one. X will be one, one plus one two. X is one, one uh, one plus two three. X will be one, one plus three four. In this way, all consecutive numbers are coming, right? So this is a consecutive numbers. In uh, in one question, we have discussed odd consecutive numbers, right? So in odd consecutive numbers, you have to write here x x plus two x plus four x plus six. Okay. In even consecutive numbers, you have to mention here odd. Okay. X x plus two x plus three x plus five. In this in this way. Okay. Sorry. X will be here. It will be x plus one. X will not come. X plus in even x plus one x plus three x plus five. Okay. Please do practice of these 
is these numbers how we can write consecutive numbers how we can write odd consecutive numbers how we can write even consecutive numbers that you can only learn by doing the written practice right are they three seventh florence where you have set the camera sit properly in the class right so this is a consecutive numbers okay these are consecutive numbers the question is the sum of three consecutive three means it will be first second three we have to take only we have to consider three consecutive numbers which are multiples of seven multiples of seven okay i am writing here multiples of seven please look here properly okay you have to take only three consecutive numbers x x plus 1 x plus 3 it should be multiples of 7 okay multiple 7 means first will be 7x second will be 7x plus 1 third will be 7x plus 2 you have to multiply each number with 7 7 7 okay you have to multiply each number with 7 that it will be multiples of 7 are you getting everyone right fine swam so you have to write in this way 7x they are saying sum of sum means you have to add 7x plus 7 x plus 1 plus 7 x plus 2 right i'm adding i have added all these three multiples of 7 okay is equals to they are saying is equal to sum will be equals to triple 7 sum will be equals to triple 7 that's it this is the way you have to if you will write this statement properly then you will be able to solve the question properly okay if you will face doubt if you will uh, write this line wrong then your question will be wrong right so i'm writing 7x plus 7 into x 7x plus 7 into 1 7 7 into x 7x 7 into 40 is equals to triple 7 now add 7x 7x and 7x it will be 21x plus 14 plus 7 it will be 21 is equals to triple 7 21x is equals to triple 7 minus 21 how much it will be how much it will be rf a uh, 7 blossom adjust your camera properly sorry 8 blossom yeah very good very good abudhya anshuman kanav very good that will be tishika very good 756 is equals to 21x x will be 756 divided by 21 in which table we can cancel it on which table we can cancel these two terms on which table it is going on 7 table yes 7 table right 7 3s are 7 1s are 0 7 8s are 56 right again we can cancel on now we can cancel 3 table 3 1s are 3 3s are 9 and 3 6s are 18 so x is equals to 36 x is equals to 36 now you can put the value of x in this first number second number and third number and you can take out all these three numbers is it clear to everyone number you seven blossom is it clear fine mishika yes uh, i ate for some are you getting right manek it's clear Fine, Avika. Okay. Gurleen Kaur. 8 Florence. Yuvraj. Jaskaran 8 Florence. Are you getting? Jaskaran, your video is paused. See to it. No, Tushika, we can't take these three numbers. It's not our wish. Okay, you have to take starting three consecutive numbers. First should be x, second should be x plus 1, third should be x plus 2. Okay, you have to take starting first three numbers. And it should be multiple of 7. Multiple means then you have to multiply with 7. All these three numbers. Then you have to add and equate with triple 7 and take out your answer. <coughs> right? You have to take, you have to take these three numbers. First three consecutive numbers. They are saying that take first three consecutive number. First will be x. Second will be x plus 1. Third will be x plus 2. Okay. 
so they are saying that i am repeating again so they are saying that they they these numbers should be multiples of 7 so you have to multiply with 7 7 into x 7 into x plus 1 7 into x plus 2 <clears throat> okay then they are saying that you have to add these three numbers okay these three numbers and equate with triple 7 equate with triple 7 right after that after adding then you have to add the variables <clears throat> and constant then shift your constant on the right hand side and take out the value of x when x value will you will take out then you have to put the x value in first second and third and take out your numbers now shraddha we have to take these three numbers right yes tushika it is mentioned man we find it is mentioned in the question you have to take first three if it will be written that uh, it, if it is written that take first uh, four numbers then x x plus 1 x plus 2 and x plus 3 also first four numbers if first five numbers x x plus 1 x plus 2 x plus 3 and x plus 4 first five numbers fine so in this way they will mention they will mention that chatanya i am going with the sequence okay one by one i'll go i'm going to explain the questions dharya gurneet kaur arshpreet kaur are you getting all these questions vikrant blossom fine okay now let's start with the next question that is question question 8 okay let me tell you no first of question 7 you are saying now please try to understand very properly very properly seventh question i'm going to explain seventh question this question i have given you for the homework question 7 those who have done very good those who have not done please sit properly and understand the concept what is given in this question right in the seventh question they are saying that a number has two digits a number has two digits okay <clears throat> there is a two digit number number has two digit whatever your answer will come your answer will come in your answer will come in two digits okay two digits means it is two digit number whatever your answer will come that is a two digit number they are saying that the digits at the tens place is four times the digits at the units place okay let's suppose let's suppose the digit digit at ones place or units place ones place we we used to say ones place at uh, as units place okay units place what are the ones place like we are writing the sequence ones tens hundred thousand i'm talking about these okay ones tens hundred thousand ten thousand lakh according to indian system right so they are saying that let's suppose the digits at the ones place is equals to x and digit at tens place tens place is equal so it is given that the digit at the tens place is the is four times the digit at the ones place so if it is x it will be how much they are saying that digit at the tens place is four times of ones place so what will be the digit very good love dora manvi chitanya manik avika very good angel ashima like uh, dharya yes very good yes 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 rakshit very good four times means yuvraj halesh mishika four times will means it will be 4x absolutely correct right so first of all try to understand first two lines of the statement what they are saying okay and write down step by step that i'm telling you this exercise 2b is very 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 important again okay. according to your exam point of view or with your olympiad point of view in olympiad we used to give give these these kind of questions okay you have to predict you have to assume okay what will be the digits at the ones place tens place whatever given in the statement right so now after that what they are saying they are saying that if 54 is subtracted from the number 54 is subtracted from the number 
in left in the in your right uh, in your rough side okay always in, uh, at your rough side please write down you have to write down these things at your rough side so that when you will write in the in your fair side you will able to predict how, what is the number where you have to subtract these things they are saying that 54 is subtracted from a number okay from a number and the digits are reverse and it will be it will it will be give you it will give you reverse number reversed number when i subtract 54 from a number it will give me a reversed number reversed digit right please try to understand this question is different from the other questions right okay now now first of all you have to take out you have to take out number and the reversed number okay what is the need what you have take out you have to find out number and the reversed number okay so now the number there is a formula how we can find out the number number is the original number always original number number is the original number you have to find the original number and the reverse number reverse number okay and there is a formula how we can find out these two numbers okay that you haven't done in other questions so formula learn the formula for original number you have to multiply 10 with the 10 with the tens place digit tens place digit and then you have to add with the ones place ones place digit this is a formula to find out the original number you have to multiply 10 with the tens place digit and plus with the ones place for reverse number you have to multiply 10 with the ones place opposite 10 you have to multiply with ones place digit and then you have to add in that tens place digit please try to understand very careful this is different question okay so now 10 multiply with 10 tens place tens place is 4x 10 into 4x plus x 10 into 4x plus x 10 into 4x it will be i am going to erase this okay i'll write again it will be equals to 40x plus x is equals to 41x so this is your original number or we can say that number this is your original number okay i'll not repeat the steps again try to understand okay some questions are bit lengthy i can't repeat the steps again and again or for a original number there is a formula how to find the original number 10 multiply by tens place digit plus ones place okay i've written that now reverse number formula is just now i've written here reverse number formula is 10 multiply by ones place digit ones place digit plus you have to uh, plus you have to add the tens place digit okay 10 into ones place is x plus tens is 4x so it will be equals to 10 into x 10x plus 4x it is equals to 14x okay so my number is 41x and my reverse number is 14x any doubt rakshit fine any doubt okay these are the two formulas to find out the reverse number and the okay only in your book last year uh, when i i was teaching 8th grade they were having 6 to 4 questions okay of these kind of in your book i think you are having two or three questions as per uh, with examples also including examples also you are having in your exercise there is one question only okay i give you in the paper i can change the statements i'll change the statements okay please try to understand but you should know how to find out the number and the reverse number okay now now implement in the question my according to the question according to the question what was your question question was this number number is 41x minus 54 is equals to reverse number reverse number is 14x this was your question okay this was your question gurkirath 8 florence okay now 41x i'm keeping this uh, variables on left hand side and i'm shifting const, uh, constant from to the right hand side 41x minus 14x is equals to 54 41x minus 14x how much quickly quickly Do the subtraction side by side quickly. It will be equals to twenty-seven. Very good, Dharya. 
27x is equal to 54. I am going to erase this. Okay, x will be equal to 54 divided by 27. Cancel on 3 table or we can cancel 27 table. 27 1s are 27 2s are. So x is equal to 2. x is equal to 2. This is your x. Okay, I have told in the beginning your answer will come in 2 digits. Your answer will come in 2 digits. Right? So I am writing the answer here. Your answer should come in 2 digits. Okay? So 1's place digit. They, this, what they said in the beginning that 1's place digit is equal to 2 and 10's place digit is equal to 4 times of the 1's place. That is 8. So your number will be, what will be your number? Can anyone tell me what will be the number? Where I will write the 1's place, where I will write the 10's place. Yuvraj, Chaitanya, Dipti, Lavdora, very good. Rakshit, Arav, very good. Mishika, very good. So my number is, my number is 1's place, I will write here. 10's place, I will write here. This is my answer. Okay. If you will face any difficulty, you can see the video once again. Okay. That how I have explained all the formulas of this question and how you have to take out the value of x and then how to implement in the answers. Right. This seventh question is clear to everyone now. Right. Now let's move to the next question. Next question is question 8. How many of you are having doubt in question 8? Major doubt is then question 8. Otherwise, I will move to the next question. Major doubt is there. Part Agarwal, I have told earlier also that you have to mention the section along with the name. Manvi, fine. Okay. Now let's start with the question 8. Some students are having doubt in this question. Question 8. Question 8 is, the length of a rectangle exceeds the breadth by 6 cm. Okay, length is, length exceeds the breadth with x, with 6. They are saying that length of a rectangle, length of a rectangle is exceeds with 6. Exceeds by 6 means, we have to add 6 in the breadth. Okay, breadth. Length is equal to breadth plus 6. Okay, so let's suppose... Let's suppose, let's breadth, breadth is equals to x and length is equals to x plus 6. Any doubt? Any doubt till here? Hermanate Florence. I'm going to ask some formulas uh, from you now. Kangana 8 Blossom, adjust your camera properly. <coughs> okay, now. Your length is exceeding with the breadth by 6. Okay, so you have to write in this way. Let's breadth of rectangle is x and length will be x plus 6. Now, what they are saying? First of all, find out the area. We will find out the area. Area of rectangle with this. Area of rectangle. Yesterday also we have discussed. Area of rectangle is equals to length multiplied by breadth. Okay. Just Kirat, 8 Florence. I am going to unmute you. I am going to ask some formulas. Okay, the names which I am calling, I will call these students. Be active in the class. Length into breadth. Length is x plus 6 and breadth is x. Multiply it. x into x, x square plus x into 6, 6x. Six, six. This is your area. This will be your first equation. Okay, keep this equation as your first equation. Now, they are saying that now. Next steps are, now, if the length is increased by 3 cm, if I increase the length, if length will be increased by 3 cm, this is my old length, I have to, I have to take out the new length. Now, they are saying new length and new breadth. Okay, you have to take out new length and new breadth. You have to add something, okay, in the previous length and breadth. New length will be, they are saying that 
in the new length uh, if the length is increased by 3 cm uh, length was x plus 6 you have to add 3 in the length ok this was the old length in that length you have to add 3 they are saying that if I will add 3 in the length ok and I will decrease the breadth by 2 and I have to decrease the breadth by 2 ok my breadth was previous breadth was uh, x and previous length was x plus 6 so I have to add 3 in the length and I have to decrease 2 in the breadth ok this is my new length and breadth now take out the area with this first of all length will be x plus 6 plus 3 x plus 9 ok and breadth is x minus 2 so your new area new area of rectangle will be length into breadth length is x plus 9 breadth is x minus 2 ok yesterday I have I have discussed this thing ok uh, Avika Avika is asking them why you have added 3 Avika can you read out the statement read out the second line in the statement it is given that if the length is increased by 3 and breadth is decreased by 2 then find out the area right this was my length earlier length this was my breadth previous breadth I have to add 3 in the length and decrease I have to minus 2 in the length right ok now length and breadth formula will be now you have to multiply x with this x x with this 2 9 with this x 9 with this 2 ok yesterday we have discussed these things ok just please tell me please tell me quickly if I will multiply x with x what will be my answer x into x and x into 2 quickly quickly I am reading your messages <clears throat> what will be the answer Mishika, Manik very good Abudya, very good Arman very good yes x into x it will be x square x into minus 2 minus 2x 9 into x plus 9x 9 into 2 minus 18 x square minus 2x plus 9x plus 7x minus 18 so this is my new area this is my old area ok this was the previous area of rectangle this is a new area of rectangle so last step is you have to equate both the areas you have to equate both the areas ok I am going to equate equation first and second first and second first area is x square plus 6x is equals to second area is x square plus 7x minus 18 x square and x square I am going to cancel right yes Avika x square x square I am going to cancel right 6x is here I am shifting minus 7x here is equals to minus 18 is equals to minus x minus 18 minus minus cancel so x value will be 18 x is 18 so you can take out uh, this is x x is the breadth so length will be x plus 6 ok so you can take out the answer it's understood by everyone yes Brahmjot it will be 24 yes Brahmjot fine it's understood by everyone you have to take out two areas ok two areas first will be the previous area of rectangle and then it will uh, then you have to find out the new area of rectangle two areas you have to find out ok then you have to equate both the areas they are, this is a, a previous area this is a new area ok you can see to it what terms you can cancel and how you can shift the variables here and then you can take out the answer of the x x is your breadth x is your breadth and length will be 18 plus 6 that is 24 right just wait Mishika let me check the queries yeah Mishika they are saying that when I will add when I will add 3 in the length and I will decrease 2 in the breadth my area will be same area will be same the meaning of this line will be you have to equal both the areas ok that this is a previous area and it is it is same with the new area it is equal with the new area ok 
where I have written x in x to x. X into x into minus two is minus two x. Man we. Okay, not x square. X into x will be x square. X into two is minus two. Minus sign is here. Mishika, clear? Okay. Right. Now let's start with the next question. Next question is question eleventh. Uh, eleventh question I have told in the class. On that day, day for yesterday, we have discussed this question eleventh. Please go through with the video once again. Because time is less, I'm going to explain the next question. Okay, next question is question thirteen. Let me check which is question thirteen. Thirteen also, fifteen also, sixteenth question I have discussed in the class. I'm I'm going to tell you question fifteen first of all. Please try to understand question fifteen. Okay, because time is less. Man, with that you can take after the class. Right, Jasmine, you also. In question fifteenth, this is a major doubt of the queer students. Okay, let me explain this fifteenth question. The distance covered two stations A, A and B. The distance covered between the station A and B is five forty kilometer. Distance total distance is given that is of station A and B is five forty kilometer. There are two stations. Okay, station A and B, and total distance given between these two stations is 540 kilometer. Right? Now, what they are saying? Uh, two trains start simultaneously from these stations on parallel tracks to cross each other. The speed of one train is greater than the other by five kilometer per hour. Okay. So I am going to make a table of This question, okay. With the table, you will able to get the question more easily, right? This is your train one. This is your train two. We are having two trains, right? Please try to understand the last question. In train one, they are saying that uh, speed of first train is equals to x kilometer per hour, and speed of second train is increasing with five. With the first train, so this will be x plus five. Okay, the speed of second train is five kilometer more than the speed of first train. Okay, so it will be x. It will be x plus five kilometer per hour. Any doubt? Any doubt in this first step? Shraddha, are you getting? Okay, now next next step is time is given. The time time covered. Uh, They have given here that if the distance between these two trains uh, after three hours of the start is 165 km, the time will be same. Time is same of the bo of both of the trains. Time is given three hours here and three hours here. Right. So find out the distance. Find out the distance first of all. What will be the distance? What is the formula of speed? Speed formula is. Distance upon time. Okay, distance upon time. And how we can find out distance? Speed multiplied by time. Distance is equals to speed multiplied by time. In this way, we used to find out the speed. Oh, sorry, distance. Okay, the speed formula is distance upon time. If I have to find out the distance, it is equals to speed multiplied by time. Right? Speed multiplied by time. Speed is x. Time is three, so three into x, okay. And here distance will be this is speed, this is time. So x plus five multiplied by three, okay. So it is equals to here distance is equals to distance equals to three x, and here distance is equals to three into x, three x plus three fives are fifteen kilometer kilometer, okay. That's why I've made the table. The speed of the first train is x kilometer. Speed of second train is x plus five kilometer per hour. Time of first train is three hour. Second train drawn, so time is three hours. So how we can find out the distance? Formula to find out the distance is speed multiplied by time. I have multiplied both these both columns. Okay, and here distance is equal to speed multiplied by time. Again, I have multiplied these two. Right. 
so this is the first distance of the train and this is the distance of the train second okay now they're saying that if the distance between these two trains after 3 hours of the start is 165 km find the speed of the each train find the speed of the each train okay now total distance is 540 distance is 540 okay distance of first train is 3x distance of second train is 3x plus 15 and they are saying that from the starting from the starting they have covered 165 kilometer then you have to equate with the 540 kilometer this is the important step of this question this is the distance covered by the first train this is the distance covered by the second train this is the distance that it has both the trains has covered from the beginning okay this these all distances you have to add then this is the total distance then you have to equate with the total distance okay this is the main step of this question right so this will be 3x plus 3x plus 15 plus 165 is equals to 540 add the variables and add the constants shift your constant on the right hand side and take out your answer right okay so rest of the questions you can discuss by tomorrow in the class. Okay, bye-bye and take care all of you.